Hey there, this is Seth Waters from Channel 9 coming to you from our beautiful Channel 9 Ready Room where people come to get ready to be on Channel 9. I'm here with a good friend, Steve Jones. How are you doing, buddy? Good. How are you doing today? So tell us about what you do. So I'm an evangelist for Redgate Software. I've, uh, I've worked with SQL Server and databases for most of my career, okay. over 30 years now. And um, what I do now is I work for Redgate. I run SQLServerCentral.com as okay. an editor. And then I also end up writing and speaking about databases and about Redgate all around the world. So l let me tell you about my database experience and then you tell me about how Redgate totally fixes the huge mess that I make. Right. So before what would happen is I would write this like, I would go in there and right click on the Visual, like the Visual Studio looking, right. wizard looking thing. I would make all my tables there and then I would take the MDF file and then I would upload it to my client site and then if something were to change, I would change it on my dev site and then I'd write some weird script and then I'd have to put that on. Do you see, I mean, this is like the painfulness of like right. developing as a, like I'm not a DBA by any stretch of the imagination, but that's what I did. Right. That's what you're probably doing too. How does Redgate help us with this? Because I feel like there's a huge painfulness about working with databases and then getting them over to the clients. Absolutely, and, and there is. And, and, and I've made a lot of money over the years by uh, doing all that work myself and understanding how to build those scripts and deploy it out to changes. So Redgate has spent a lot of time in the last 10 years really investigating how can we smooth that process. So right. when you wanna use that object explorer, you wanna make changes in the wizard or in the GUI, we wanna make sure that you can still do that. But what we wanna do then is capture those changes and help you smoothly deploy those out to other environments. So um, Redgate started with SQL Compare back in uh, geez, 2001, I think. Which in like software years is like 80 years. It's 80 like years yeah. and, and uh, that was right around the time I started SQL Server Central with a few partners and Redgate was actually our first customer as an advertiser. Mm -hmm. But uh, they built that to capture those changes that you make and build that script for you in a way that uh, uses transactions, that has things ordered appropriately, uh, you know, all the different settings that you would want. And then the last you know, five, six, seven years, we've spent a lot of time trying to integrate that into a DevOps flow where we can smoothly uh, integrate continuous integration, continuous delivery, uh, approvals, all the types of things that uh, Microsoft is now doing with the VSTS. We're enabling that for the database. And that's interesting, right? Because I, from the software side, I just want my code to get updated. And then the thing goes out there and every time, there's like, hey, that, that column doesn't exist in your database. And that error services up to my user and I feel like an idiot. Right. So how does, how does Redgate sort of smooth that out? What is it that you do to make that work in the DevOps pipeline? Well, we don't do any magic, right? There's no magic to how we make changes in database. The way that we make changes in SQL Server 2016 is really the same way I make changes in SQL Server 4.2 25 years ago. But what Redgate tries to do is uh, help you test this in advance, right? B build a, a pipeline where I'm taking those changes from the developer, I'm throwing it in a continuous integration process or an intermediate environment so that you can make sure your code, your application works correctly against a new version of the database. And then we smoothly allow that to flow through so that uh, your application continues to run, your databases still work, your clients are happy. So is, is that part of the build script? Is there like some diff SQL statements that should be run during the build script? How does, that, how does Redgate surface that for me? So what we really do is, is we try to build a a set of tools that allow you to uh, integrate with your builds. So when you build something in Visual Studio, you use MS Build to uh, develop a script and it produces a package that you can then deploy out to other environments. Sure. And what we do is the same thing with the databases. We want to go ahead and treat the database like code. So all of your views, your store procedures, your functions, your assemblies, that's all code, right? We realize that's easy stuff for you. Sure. Tables are hard. <laughs> right. Yeah, especially when I get the column names wrong or so, it's just every time I screw this up. Well, well, tables are just fundamentally the one place where databases are different than your rest of your code because right. we have to maintain state over time. Sure. Right. Uh, and whether we reboot, whether we restart, anything we do, we maintain state. And so at Redgate, what we do is we, we give you uh, various tools that allow you to produce a build just like you would do with MS Build. So if I, if I go to Visual Studio Online and I want to build a new C Sharp application, uh, there are templates in there that will run MS Build for me, and I provide parameters and things like Got that it. allow me to build my software. Sure. We do that with the database as well. So uh, we've primarily moved to PowerShell because that seems to be one of the, the most stable and popular ways that we can build software in Microsoft's stack. And the crazy thing is that SQL Server is going to work on Linux now. Right. 
And PowerShell works on Linux now? Yes. So this stuff should all just work, it you know, moving forward. It just yeah. works. And yeah. so we provide you a build just like you would build in Visual Studio, right? Got we it. build a database. We provide you a method to test the database so that you can run unit tests or integration tests or anything else you want to run. Sure. And then we produce uh, an, an artifact out of that that allows you to then deploy that to other environments. So it very much looks just like the software development pipeline that you use for all the rest of your code. That's awesome. So you mentioned SQL Compare. Is there a suite of products that you have? Because I know, I know, like I, I'm familiar with Redgate on the .NET side. You know, with right. the profiling and the and the other stuff. Uh, tell me about sort of the suite of tools on the data side that I may, people may not be as familiar with. So for Redgate, we started with SQL Compare, which was really designed to compare schemas and databases, sure. so that I can look at tables, view store procedures, find differences, produce a script. Uh, we added Data Compare then because one of the challenges. Uh, in, in moving databases, we have some data that has to move. For example, yeah. list of states, list of countries, postal codes, things like that. Your lookup tables. All those lookup tables, we have a way to remove that as well. And then we've expanded beyond that to uh, help you the rest of your software development process. So we have a data generator that will uh, consistently fill tables with data. So if I want test data, I want large volumes of data, sure. things like that, uh, I can use the same project, the same seed files, and get the same set of data. So for unit testing, it's great. Right. Uh, we've built a set of deployment tools that will actually uh, work with version control or work with the database to package up the state of that database, in essence, the version of my database code, uh, produce a, a NuGet package that I can then deploy to other environments. I can verify that uh, the database I'm deploying to hasn't drifted or changed before then and that I'm confident my deployment will work correctly. So I didn't, maybe I didn't understand this all the right. You said you mentioned, you mentioned a NuGet package. I'm traditionally, when I hear NuGet package, I'm thinking like assemblies and stuff. Right. What is it that's different about this NuGet package that works with data? I'm trying to understand that. It's okay, so uh, a NuGet package is just a zip file, right? Right, it's of course. just with metadata and stuff around it, sure. so we know what's packaged inside it. What we're doing there is, uh, the challenge with databases is understanding that I can't just wholesale replace code. No. Right. My table, uh, view store procedures I can, but my tables, I have to know what that is. So in that NuGet package, what we essentially do is package up the state of my source system. So whether that's a database, a uh, project in version control like TFSVC, I capture all that, I capture my static data. And then what we do is we use that as a method to then deploy out and generate the differences between those databases so that I'm confident my deployment will work correctly. I see, I see. And so this package, does it get executed or is it, is like, is there? It, well, it gets, uh, I guess it would get unpacked and then used as a target for deployment. I see. Right? Okay. So that typically the flow is that I would take my, my NuGet package, which would be the output of my CI process, just mm -hmm. like you would get a DLL or a, you know, an ASP.NET folder sure. zipped up everything else. Uh, I would then take that and I would use that to look at a QA environment, look at a staging environment where I would say, what, does I, what do I actually need to deploy for this database? Uh, generate a script, which a DBA can then review and right. be comfortable with that I'm executing things in a proper order. I'm not gonna take the database down for 20 hours. Yeah, all all those challenges. That. And then actually deploy that against uh, the, the target environment. So the staging environment, production, testing, QA, DR, whatever it is for you. So you mentioned SQL Compare, Data Compare, what other what other products are there? SQL Compare, Data Compare. Uh, we have Data Generator, SQL Data oh, that's Generator. Right, the data Generator. Yeah. We have a SQL Multi Script that allows you to take a script and execute it against a large number of SQL servers, and then get consistent results back and package them up so that you can see did my script execute correctly against all these environments. Got it. Our, our DLM automation suite is what does the NuGet packaging and deployment out to other environments. Cool. Uh, you know we have monitoring tools as well to help you assess the the performance of your, your environments, your end user databases, and make sure that they're performing as you would expect to do sure. that. Uh, what else do we have? We have DLM dashboard, which is actually free. So we built a tool that allows you to look at the schema of a database and essentially version it. So I can take my production database and say, right now it's version 2.3. And if anything changes in there, I can then be notified what exactly changed. And then I can reversion that. But the nice thing is when I integrate that in my software development pipeline, I'll see that in development that I get to 2.4 and I can see 2.4 move to my QA server and then move to my production server and I can verify that the changes all went. Okay, that's cool. That's super cool. So where can people go to find out about these products? Is there a trial that people can use? Absolutely, so uh, redgate.com, it's red-gate.com is uh, the company site. 
We have evaluations of all of our products, and as a matter of fact, we bundle up, I think, almost every product into our SQL tool belt, and you can download an evaluation and try that out. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for spending some time with us. This has been awesome. Look, I, I of all people, know that like managing databases is hard. It's cool to know there are tools out there to help us. We're trying. We're trying our best to make database development as smooth as all your software development. Awesome. So take a look at red-gate.com to find about the SQL tool belt and all the tools that they have for you. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Seth Juarez. This is Channel 9, and we're talking to VSIP partners. We'll see you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.